The spotted lanternfly, which first appeared in the U.S. in Berks County, is spreading to our south now. And officials say the invasive insect is now in Delaware County near Philadelphia. The pest poses a significant threat to the agriculture industry. And a Berks County commissioner says he has an idea to help get rid of it. WFMD's Katira Winfrey is joining us live now from Reading with more on that tonight. Katira. Wendy, his idea is to get a, get rid of the tree of heaven. The tree of heaven, just like the lanternfly, are native to China, and they are all over the place. You can take a look at this tree right here behind me, and it's something about these trees that draw the lanternfly. In a couple years of time, to Berks County Commissioner Christian Leinbach, like many in Berks, is fed up with the spotted lanternfly. You need to start at home. This weekend, he spotted the bugs on trees known as the Tree of Heaven in his backyard. The trees can pop up and grow fast. He spent the weekend killing lanternflies and chopping down the trees of heaven. The trees seem to be a popular feeding spot for the bugs. So many people don't know what to do and in fact don't know how prevalent the tree of heaven is. Experts agree they say the tree of heaven is an invasive tree and it's native to China just like the lanternfly and they say getting rid of the trees could significantly help in the lanternfly fight. We're trying to lower the number of tree of heaven in the state. Donald Seifert with Penn State Extension says people are encouraged to participate in a tree trap program. So for example let's say you have 10 tree of heaven on your property you'll take Take down nine of them and leave the tenth one, uh, and then you'll treat that tenth one with an insecticide. He says it can get pricey, but for folks who can do it, it would greatly help. And experts say right about now, lantern flies are starting to lay their eggs. So if you start to see them on your trees or other items, so just go ahead and scrape them off. Reporting live in Reading, Katira Winfrey, 69 News. Thank you, Katira.